Tonight, many T-Mobile customers want to know if they're going to get a credit for yesterday's service outage that lasted more than four hours. We learned that a construction crew in North Houston cut a fiber optic line, frustrating many T-Mobile customers. Our Sophia Beausoleil joining us live outside a T-Mobile store in Southwest Houston with the latest on this. Sophia? So, Bill, we reached out to the T-Mobile corporate office. We have not heard anything back, but we did call two stores, and they tell us it doesn't appear that there will be a credit or a refund for the disruptive service. Now, when it comes to the fiber optic line, we spoke with a technology expert who tells us that those lines can be fragile. It was 24 hours ago service stopped for T-Mobile customers across Houston, and still... Everybody was freaking out. People are talking about it, even though it's fixed. It was a little bit frustrating. And it all came down to a fiber optic line. Our number one killer of fiber optic lines is typically backhoes. And that's what happened. Comcast told us a third party construction crew cut a fiber optic line in Northwest Houston, which T-Mobile uses. Who cut the line? Well, no one is coming forward with that information. They're just doing his job and then the line gets cut and all this happens. It's anything can happen. They're fairly easy to snap or break. They're not resistant to to bendy kind of damage the way that other uh, forms of cable we use are. Dr. Chris Bronk is an assistant professor at the College of Technology at the University of Houston. He says fiber optic cables can carry the most traffic data at the highest rate of speed. Really what it comes down to is uh, we, we probably need to think about if, if this kind of break is causing a major outage, uh, T-Mobile probably needs to, to consider the idea of bundling more capacity together. As for today, T-Mobile customers like Elizabeth Foster says service is smooth sailing. Now we've reached out to the FCC to see if anybody will be held liable for the disruptive service. The FCC says it does not comment or confirm if they are or would be doing an investigation. So no answer from them as to who the company was that actually cut the line. We don't know that either. Reporting live from Southwest Houston, Sophia Bosley, KPRC Channel 2 News. Glad it's fixed today. Sophia, thank you.